things that we've been monitoring up here for a long time is the ozone layer. Um, so one of the ways you do that is with a machine, this machine here, this is called a Dobson. So if you study ozone, they, they're in these really wonky units called Dobsons because that's what this machine could measure. This one's over 50 years old. This one's the um, older standard. This one travels all around the world and visits other ones to make sure that they're all cross-calibrated. Mm -hmm. So what this is is a UV spectrometer. So um, there's a little um, periscope you can put in here that sends UV light in and it looks at some part of the UV spectrum that has um, no absorption from CO2 or sorry, ozone and another one that gets it and they do a cross comparison to sort of see how much ozone's up there in that column. So we have one that lives permanently here in that dome just back there, looks just like this. Um, and it runs every day where we do some ozone sampling. And then in the summer, some unlucky person gets hired to come and run this for a few hours every clear morning. Um, it, this particular machine should be automated, but if you're turning a dial every 15 seconds for about four hours, standing in the UV sun, <laughs> it's, it's a miserable job. Every, every couple of minutes there's a long enough break where you can run and drink water or something, but in order for the science to work, they just have this you know, cadence that Seems like they automated. Yeah, so this particular thing is a Joule and Noah's um, ozone monitoring, and they don't want to change it at all. They don't, it's like, it works, don't touch it. Then they'll put it in a crate right back here and ship it all around the world, and then it gets there and works. But it's, you know, it's someone does it, and they've been doing it for a long time, but it seems like a horrible job to me. Is it too difficult to? Uh, to to replicate it, or um, is it too expensive to... So you wouldn't build it this way anymore. Yep. I mean, so Cliff Notes, we do a lot more ozone monitoring up here yep. with much more automated good things, but you still want... NOAA has this paranoia that people won't believe them if they switch instruments, yep. so they want to run instruments forever. Yeah. If Ideally, the same instrument, but if you've got a switch, you're going to do like 10 years of overlap and right. say, like, they have the same answer. And then yeah. someone comes along and says, like, you know, this is a goofy way to do it. If we get an LED that's tuned to that wavelength, we can just yeah. put it up there and it can just measure out the LED and just measure the bias voltage off the LED and, like, cool, we're going to do this forever, too. <laughs> so just on top of this building, we have a bunch of o our ozone sensors that are um, having a UV LED. Turns out if you shine a photon on an LED, you get voltage. Um, they could tune it just right to do this measurement without being this. Um, Generally, this one's not here, it's on vacation. Like you guys. 